Uh, Devin, uh, congrats on the win. Just a thought on getting to 8-8, eight and eight, but also how much of a spark was that Kyle pick six, him doing it once again? Uh, how much was that for the defense, the whole entire team, to get you guys going? Yeah, man, we, had, we talked yes, last night about you know, scoring on defense. It's something we've done now four weeks in a row, and it's something that's given us a, a great boost as a team. So you know, as soon as Doug caught it, I think if you watched the film, you probably see everybody trying to get a block. Um, and you can see Doug knowing, like, I'm not going out of bounds. Like, I'm finding a way to the end zone. And, you know, I think any time, like, a guy like Doug, one of our best players out there, you know, overall on the team, gets the ball in his hands, um, it's third touchdown of the year. So, um, you know, we needed him today. He stepped up big. And, you know, I would say over this latter part of the season, he's played great football and um, really proud just to be able to, to be in there with him and, you know, his production and the studying and his process throughout the season. Um, it's it's no wonder it's paying off. Like the guy's been tremendous. Nick O'Malley on your left. Uh, Devin, keeping the playoffs alive, but given your positioning, it looks like a uh, road on the playoffs. Uh, considering where you are in your career and where the outlook is the rest of the way, did you have any thoughts coming off the field today that today was could maybe the last time you played a game at Gillette Stadium? Yeah, I took a moment. You know, I'll go spend some time with my family on the field. Um, it's been a great run and. Uh, to come out here, if this was the last, the last one, I, I think to be able to to leave Gillette with a win, um, very similar to how my first ever game was a win. So, um, you know, I've had a lot of fun. These guys have been awesome to go out here and compete with. Um, you know, you never know how football goes, but uh, I'd be lying if I said I didn't think about it before the game. And you know, just now, give a high five to the Minutemen. Something I've done over and over and over again after wins. Um, to just kind of think about that and, and let that settle in, um, you know, just trying to make sure I just stay in the moment, and enjoy it. But uh, definitely gave it a few seconds today. Hey, Deb, um, talk about the importance of seven defensive touchdowns this season from the defense. It's pretty insane. Yeah, man, it's it's been a huge lift. Uh, I think we got a lot of guys when we get the ball in our, in our hands and trying to score. Um, but again, like I said, I think it's the group as a whole. Like you see. Everyone is trying to get a block. Everyone's trying to lead the guy into the end zone. Like we've talked about that, turning those turnovers into points. Um, and it's, it's been big for us. And, you know, I think um, even special teams like Marcus scoring, we blocked the punt and got the ball like the one or two yard line, like just finding ways to win. You know, I've talked about that earlier in the season. Like we don't know what it's going to be, um, but finding a way to win the game, whether it's a defensive touchdown, special teams, whether it's the offense going on a, you know, eight minute drive to score, like whatever it is, um, is that time of year we got to figure it out and, and do those things. Hey, Devin, um, among those thoughts that you had today about this being the home finale, uh, how important was it, you mentioned your family, to see Jason down on the field? I mean, your twin who you've uh, you know, had careers together with and now he's been out for a year, and just to have him here in attendance today, what did that mean to you? And you know, how, how much do you value that opportunity to play before him today? Yeah, man, that's my guy. Um, just so many ups and downs throughout my career, uh, individually, different things. Um, just being able to rely on him and count on him. Um, it was cool, you know, this is the second time he's been able to come to a game as a fan. You know, he's a working guy now, so he worked the Buffalo game. Um, but, you know, I, I think for both of us, our relationship, the bond of, just pushing each other and, you know, I know he's on edge watching just like I used to be on edge watching him play. Um, but it's, it's been a great joy to, to grow up with somebody and have a dream um, and accomplish that dream and get to do it together uh, for three years. But to just watch each other um, do something that a lot of people told us would probably be impossible for one of us to do, let alone two of us to do it. So um, it's like running a race next to your best friend and at the end you just tie each time. And, you know, we've had a, a lot of fun watching each other um, and supporting each other throughout our careers. Mike Giardi, the Dave, you guys have obviously experienced some horrible lows this year, some losses that have put teams down and they don't get up from. And at times maybe this team was teetering, like it didn't look, at least from the outside looking in, didn't like maybe you would get up. The fact that you did get up, the fact that you have a game next weekend that means something for postseason, what does that say about this group? Character. Um, I don't know what game I said it after or before, um, but I don't think we have the, the men in that locker room to have a character to quit. You know, I think each guy in that locker room all has a story of how they got here. We got a guy like John Jones, undrafted. We got a guy like Kyle Duggar, D2 guy, Judon, D2 guy. They're two, they're two best players on defense. Um, and I think 
that that character, that just determination to you know be on top as individuals, I think motivates this team to stick together and play together. Um, and I think we don't want we don't want to go out there and not give it our all. I think because of the guys next to us, um, we're we're fully aware of this team won't be the same next year. And you know we got one more opportunity that we're guaranteed, and um, we're gonna go out there and play together, and you know give it our best shot, you know for 60 minutes. Um, and I think that's something we can live with. You know anything else, uh, I think will crush us as individuals. And I think that's why you see this team gonna come out here next week, practice our butts off, and go out there in Buffalo and try to get into the playoffs. Matthew just said you're going to the Hornets' nest now. It used to be. Or vice versa, right? All the AFC's team. What does it feel like to sort of have the shoe on the other foot, but again, have an opportunity? Compete, man. Uh, it's uh, it's fun going in there because you know, you know, everybody hates you in there, and you know, you know, if you don't come with your best shot from the beginning of the game, like that, that thing could get ugly, and they're gonna go. Um, so if you want to, you know, I said a few weeks ago, uh, if you want to be a team that's playing in the postseason, like these are the kind of games you got to enjoy going to uh, and go out and, and get a win. So we'll have we'll have a lot going, you know, in our tough football team. And, you know, we'll watch them Monday night against Cincy um, and we'll go out there and give it our best shot. Last question, Steve. I was watching that pass of Bridgewater. Did, did you have just turned the wrong shoulder or something? Or what was the, on that? I don't know. That was just a, excuse my language. Just Play by me. Uh, just got to catch the ball. And luckily, uh, we won today because if not, that would have been all I thought about. It possibly is my last uh, game here at Gillette. I was trying to make it easy for you. So. Yeah, yeah, and no, I appreciate it.